that means they need consistent supply of crypto, crypto liquidity to facilitate that value movement. Uh, so if you're building a business in your institution that wants to adopt crypto, enough liquidity is crucial for you to be able to enter it. Institutional clients' volumes basically 10x as they traded $1.1 trillion in volume in cryptocurrency on Coinbase, up from $120 billion the year before. Type of institutional investors uh, have been uh, very much involved in 2021. There's a system, Emma. We're born into it. A system with numbers and paper. Missionless. Just because you're born into a system doesn't mean you have to live with it. Of course, if you look at Stellar, my blockchain, things look different, right? We don't pay out any incentives to the validators. Uh, and, you know, not coincidentally, it has the lowest fees of pretty much any public blockchain out there, often by many orders. Of the volume split roughly between institutional and, and uh, retail clients. There's institutional uh, um, interest. All, and, and, and then the other thing that you would look at is really, you know, some, some big trades or big movements on a, on a, on a particular day, uh, which would suggest uh, that there is an institution behind it. But AOL has hired former Yahoo executive Brad Garlinghouse. To is it time to ditch the dollar? The United Nations calls for a new global currency so the thing labs grizzly uh that grizzly the bear once again got the phoenix rising are these possible moon cycles right here joining the team here our work on phoenix which continues to be in kind of alpha slash beta uh enjoy the ride pal If you got some bags, welcome to the party. Welcome back to Samoa. Moon o'clock news, no breakfast, no coffee, just straight extra, extra. Bullishness, shout out to the latest sub. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing them likey, stuffing some bags. Go ahead, throw on those moon suits, throw on those pilot shades, buckle up. Because the future's extra, extra. Bullish. Let's go full speed, full throttle into the crypto verse. We got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today at 1.55 trillion, up about 1.7% in the past 24. We got the total cryptocurrency trading volume in the last day, right around 50.7 billion. We got XRP in that number five spot, right around 61 and a half cents, up 0.7% in the past 24. Stellar XLM, right around 12 cents. We got BTC 38,929 ETH right around 2k we got xdc right beneath the nickel flare networks right around 0.014 up 13 percent songbird double zero four eight up one point seven percent we got one from ripple to kick things off in order to meet the needs of your customers you need a consistent supply of liquidity to move value brad chase explains how crypto liquidity is absolutely essential for institutional adoption and the latest crypto in a minute Liquidity absolutely impacts institutional adoption. So institutions, larger financial service businesses, banks, corporates, whatnot, uh, they're going to need to be transacting and moving value in large sizes, more frequently, and importantly, uh, running a business, they have high demands for uh, uptime and availability. So they need to be able to meet the needs of their customers. That means they need consistent supply of crypto, crypto liquidity, to facilitate that value movement. Uh, so if you're building a business in your institution that wants to adopt crypto, enough liquidity is crucial for you to be able to enter the space. Of course, the flip side of that is as institutions enter the space, that's going to draw more liquidity into the space. So that's because that large demand need can be met with uh, supply. Uh, and so as you have more and more of that supply, you get a nice flywheel effect where more and more institutions adopt. They provide some liquidity. Others come in to meet that liquidity need and it grows and grows and grows. So crypto liquidity, absolutely essential for the adoption of crypto. You're going to need some more of that XRP liquidity with the iso 2022 major confirmation from coinbase institutional money has arrived in the crypto markets and they're here to pump our bags up pump our bags up begin with the demand um in terms of the crypto uh trading and associated services where have you seen the most demand from your client base and uh, i will thanks very much for having me uh, just before I answer this question, it's worth giving a bit of context about the formation of crypto as an asset class. So over the last 20 years, new markets have been created and adopted by institutions. Uh, we're talking about FX, treasuries, credit, EM, commodities, derivatives, structured products, and so on. Uh, typically, it takes around three to five years before clients and their banking and trading partners all adopt a new vertical. But in 2021, crypto markets compacted a five-year into a one-year cycle. Um, the end of 2020 kicked off an institutional onboarding year in 2021, as traditional finance participants started to engage in crypto ecosystem in earnest. Institutional clients' volumes basically 10x as they traded $1.1 trillion in volume in cryptocurrency on Coinbase, up from $120 billion the year before. So now to answer your question, I would say every type of institutional investors uh, have been uh, very much involved in 2021, and each for their own reasons. So let's start with hedge funds, 
which are the primary users and who are using our flagship prime brokerage services to create, maintain, uh, and refine their edge in generating alpha. Uh, the second bucket is VCs, and they continue to deploy capital in the crypto economy as digital assets and blockchain technology are increasingly viewed as providing uncorrelated returns. Uh, the flows are driven mostly by LPs and asset owners who are looking to allocate to gross investments in a low yield environment. The next bucket, family offices, uh, they enjoy lower regulatory and shareholder obligations compared to institutions. And that enables them to be more future forward and seek higher growth strategies. I would say that they were the earliest entrants to crypto as long-term investors. And this was also driven by the next generations that are more open to crypto and digital assets than their parents. Now, to a lesser degree, I would say asset managers who are the gatekeepers of roughly 200 trillions of capital. Their investment mandates and fiduciary duties are unfortunately requiring much longer due diligence. So adoption is taking time with this group. And it's however a question of when, not if. And at Coinbase, uh, being a publicly listed company, we're playing a huge role thanks to a very robust suite of products and services for this micro segment. Finally, the last segment uh, is about corporates. Uh, very different is not necessarily about investment, but the utility function of digital assets beyond the investment aspect of tokens resonates very strongly with them. Uh, use cases such as mentioned payments, treasury management, and NFTs to better engage with their clients and fans uh, are a proof that uh, this segment is re-entering uh, as an early uh, adoption phase. It's not if, but when in the big money, the institutional money has arrived. You know what's coming. We got one from ISO 2022. Let's do it. Crypto bull market is set to take off in 2024 for the very first institutional investment cycle. Massive shift from the traditional debt to crypto. You don't want to miss this train. Load up. I used to ask some time. The longer they take, the higher we climb on that XRP rich list. We got one from Coinbase. Accept it. It'll always be this way. Build something better. It's time to update the system. XRP. There's a system, Emma. We're born into it. A system with numbers and papers. Lines and waiting. You work hard, get good grades, go to college. I want to go to college. I got good grades. I overachieved. That's right, she did. Debt is good. Debt is so good. So much debt. I can totally save up and buy a house and start a family. I want a family. Oh. Starting a family means you need two or three jobs. You can't afford to buy. Oh. You can't afford to rent. Used cars cost as much as the new ones. Oh. It's weird. Good debt is good. Head of my class. Houses are too expensive. You work hard, get good. System the Rent not. is freaking insane. Breaking news. Everything is terrible. Does it have to be this way? What if it was different? It's always been that way. We've got to build our way out of it. Yeah. Put control back to the hands of the people. Not the bureaucracy. System with less paperwork. No waiting. No lines. Permissionless. Just because you're born into a system doesn't mean you have to live with it. And it's happening right before your eyes. The system being upgraded to a new, faster, cheaper, more efficient, eco-friendly financial system. Move value anywhere around the world instantly, 24-7, 365. XRP money never sleeps. We got 707 Crypto. Stellar is a proof of agreement, not POS or incentive-based. Stellar org. So, of course, if you look at Stellar, my blockchain, things look different, right? Because you're not staking anything other than your reputation. Um, we don't pay out any incentives to the validators. Uh, and, you know, not coincidentally, it has the lowest fees of pretty much any public blockchain out there, often by many orders of magnitude. So what is it that Stellar does? Uh, how does Stellar achieve security uh, without having to pay out these incentives, which ultimately become a drag on, on transactions and real-world assets? Well, what we use is uh, something we call proof of agreement, right? Because now everything has to be proof of something these days. Um, we used to call it a federated Byzantine agreement, but that was kind of a, a mouthful. So uh, the basic idea is to uh, make agreement actually the basis of your consensus protocol. In particular, the desire for organizations to want to agree with one another pairwise, right? And as David Schwartz said, the best incentive is no incentive. Where did they get a hold of? Or that old. We got one from the ISO go large volumes moving on chain in the K institutions are behind them. And you know, XRP, the only one with legal clarity in the United States. Know what you hold? The, um, at the underlying, what the volume split roughly between institutional and, and uh, retail clients is. Well, I guess uh, no precise percentage is um, expected here, but maybe giving also a comparison to the US, a perspective on that could be interesting. Um, well, this is a very challenging question to, to, to answer because actually, um, as an issue, we don't know. Um, so, you know, the, the, the price gets shaded on exchange um, or on OTC market with the authorized participants. Uh, those are, you know, anonymous uh, transactions. 
Um, and, uh, you know, we only face off against the authorized participants, those are who our clients are. Um, so we can only just see creation or redemption order com orders coming in. Um, and occasionally we do see, and we do see quite frequently, um, the due diligence requests from uh, from large institutions um, who are asking you know, all sorts of questions about uh, the, the, the way we set up. Um, and that gives us an indication that there's a there's institutional uh, um, interest. Or you know, and, and, and then the other thing that you would look at is really, you know, some, some big trades or big movements on a, on a, on a particular day, uh, which would suggest... Uh, that there is an institution behind it, but you know, crypto, as we know, is a is a, is a retail grassroots um, uh, in its in its origin. Um, but as as every week goes by, um, we see it moving up sort of the, uh, the the food chain, if you will. Um, you know, from uh, to, to to private banks, to um, family offices, uh, wealth managers, um, and then onto you know hedge funds and uh, then larger you know institutions. And we know that they're in, in the, and that they're trading now. But this is there's still quite a few who are more conservative by nature who who still uh, you know um, you know sort of waiting to to sort of cut their teeth. Um, but it's, it's also it's a it's a great um, to have a product and uh, an innovative product from from your ex like the, the Bitcoin. Uh, of uh, ETN futures, it also allows for a whole other class of investor um, into uh, into the asset class as well. The institutions are coming in to shake things up and they want to buy up your bags at a cheaper prices. Hold on for dear life. Plans within plans. It's coming sooner than you expect. We got NFA crypto on September 8th. Just a crazy coincidence. CNBC reported that Brad Garland House was hired to run AOL, but listen to the segment that directly follows. And AOL has hired former Yahoo executive Brad Garlinghouse to run the company's email group and beef up its presence in Silicon Valley. Garlinghouse might be best known for calling attention to major problems at Yahoo in a 2006 internal memo. That paper was referred to as the peanut butter manifesto because it claimed the company had spread itself too thin. Since then, Yahoo has changed CEOs twice. Since leaving Yahoo last year, Garlinghouse has been an advisor at private equity firm Silver Lake Partners. And coming up, is it time to ditch the dollar? The United Nations calls for a new global currency. So could this herald the biggest overhaul of the world's monetary system since World War II? There are no coincidences. And also we got 801 XRP. Here's a video of Brad Garland House when he was over at AOL to show you show you what AOL was on a whiteboard. Check this out. In this group, we sold ICQ, paid a lot of cash in the balance sheet. We really obviously got the bear here with some diamonds. Used for other things. Um, we launched some app. We got the bear here, bearable guy here with the hat. The iPad. Uh, a couple of key hires. We also talked about how we're already starting to see some of the core product improvements reflect. Here we go. We got the bear right here. Got the bear right here. Improvements in metrics. So uh, not just sizzle, uh, but also the stake. So, so then talked about kind of some major changes uh, moving into the Palo Alto office, the Thing Labs, Brizzly. Uh, got Brizzly the bear once again. Got the Phoenix rising. Are these possible moon cycles right here? Joining the team here, our work on Phoenix, which continues to be in kind of alpha slash beta. Uh, and we then, you know, talking about the about.me uh, evolution with additions. As Eric says the bear's trying to push for the AMM on the XRP ledger. We got the bear here, AMM, automated market maker. We got World B Free says, great find, so interesting. I noticed that the bearable guy in the Phoenix right away. This shot is interesting too, showing the bear in November and then lines up going up above the Phoenix to December. Probably nothing, but it sure is fun to speculate. I was always intrigued by the pyramids and the Tesla looking tower. Grizzly bear, the Phoenix rising, Brad Garland house. XRP. We got another one here from Cowboy and Crypto. How about the hook on the blue guy's arm next to the AMM? We got hooks. AMM, the bear also. Is that David with the X on his shirt, top left? Davey. XRP. You know what's coming. They know what's coming and they can't stop it. XRP. Hidden in plain sight. The transformation of all value. Welcome to the Internet of Value. We also got one here. David Schwartz was the writer on the season one episode of the original DuckTales. Additionally, Schwartz also wrote the DuckTales comic story, Deep Sea Sewage. We got from 1987 to 1988 and included 65 episodes, one of which features two stories in one and nine of which form the serials, The Treasures of the Golden Suns and Catch As Cash Can. We also had The Money Vanishes writer, David Schwartz. We also got the Phoenix rising here. The Economist get ready for a world currency. Could possibly be stellar as well in there. 
XRP XLM. We also got the infamous bear barrel bugai one, two, three with the top hat. Let me know what you think down below. Automated market maker, hooks, Phoenix Rising, XRP the chosen one, plans within plans, the best is yet to come, crawl walk. Then we rock it. Also, if you didn't know, Barrel Guy 123 back on August 17th, 2019, dropped this one here, Regulation Molasses. And here we are going into 2024. Still no clear rules, still no broad regulations for cryptocurrencies. Even though XRP got clarity and beat the SEC, banks still don't want to touch it because we're still waiting on that final regulation to come in for cryptocurrencies. We got one from Faux Jack here, David Schwartz. If I had a pet duck, I name him. Mallard Fillmore. We got Millard Fillmore, the 13th U.S. president. He also says two ducks were sitting in a pond. One of the ducks said quack. The other duck said, I was going to say that. We also got Elon Musk in here. My ducks are absolutely not in a row. I don't even know where some of them are, and I'm pretty sure one of them is a pigeon. Also, if you forgot, SBI CEO says every bank in Japan will use XRP by 2025. Right around the corner, the longer they take, the higher we climb. Jimmy Value says it's the most hilarious thing I heard all year, and that's saying something. God bless the Bitcoin maxis. I can't stop laughing. Maintenance man at the high school used the school's electricity to mine Bitcoin. Monthly bill was an extra 17K. These photos show the secret crawl space at the center of this investigation. That's where police say Nadim Nahas hid nearly a dozen computers, running a crypto mining operation around the clock, sucking power from Cohasset Middle High School. Nahas of Norwell was the town of Cohasset's assistant facilities director at the time. Investigators say he initially agreed to be interviewed by police and denied having any involvement with the mine when it was discovered, or social media posts about crypto that police say were on his Twitter. Twitter account. But according to the police report, he then began sweating quite a lot and indicated he did want a lawyer. Crypto mining involves running high-powered computers, working continuously to solve complex computer problems, trying to validate connections and keep crypto transactions secure. Miners are rewarded for their efforts with new coins. The best incentive is no incentive. Bitcoin is not the future. It was just a demo. And David Schwartz saw the flaws of Bitcoin and made Bitcoin 2.0. And now we got XRP, the XRP ledger, faster, cheaper, more efficient. No more middleman snatching the fees. No mining needed. 24-7, 365. Welcome to the Internet of Value. We got one from Crypto says, this is what I feel. Charts really being stubborn right now. Only time will tell. We got the BTC having coming up April 17th, 2024 right around the corner and taking a look at this xrp versus btc chart once again xrp should have blasted off here but the sec came in and shut it down because they know what's coming xrp is bigger than the first coming of the internet and if we take this previous cycle here from btc versus xrp starting in the beginning going over here to december 17th and we lay this over with our current cycle you can see here how similar things are moving here for the xrp cycle we can see similar movements here we had a spike here then drop down spike back up drop back down into the bear market and then back again for another bull run unfortunately the sec came in and shut this thing down but as you can see here xrp should at least pass the previous all-time high and with that being said we can see all this coiled up action here for xrp you know what they say the bigger the base the higher in space, the longer they take, the higher we climb. Where will you be? Where will those bags be in 2025 when every bank in Japan goes live with the standard on-demand liquidity? XRP coming to a wallet near you. Later, Later glitches. glitches. I am the XRP Bagman, the Moon Commander, currently up here on the mothership, stuffing some bags and enjoying the show. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing them likeies for some more. Moon o'clock news. Hope y'all continue to stay extra, extra bullish. Continue holding those good vibes. Remember to sell the FUD, vibe those bags, and don't forget to spread that liquid love. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to drop a subscribe, drop a comment down below. All the OG diamond hands out there, drop a comment down below. Drop an elbow on that like button from the top ropes. Catch you up here, top floor, on the mothership for the moon party. BYOB. Bring your own bags, be your own boss. Peace out, Crypto Ghost. Later, glitches. Opportunity of a lifetime, better seize it.
Been getting to these bags all bear season Eating big bull season Rise of the Phoenix One percent on me, they gon' call us genius Busters want your bags in, why they so mad? Your ass fell asleep like a quick nap I told you wake your ass up, better get that Generational wealth, yeah we got I'm that I'm holding those generational generating